I'm Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to create cute little jelly cats using oil pastels. Grab your mark making mediums and let's make some art. Don't forget to keep your eyes open for Van Gogh's Starry Night as it's hidden somewhere in this video. Okay, let's get started on our cat jelly. We're going to draw the top of the head. So, one line across with two little ears. Inside each of those little ears, you're going to draw a teeny tiny triangle. Next, we're going to draw the sides of the head by drawing two lines down. And then, you're going to just add a small line curving in. Next, we're going to draw the frills of the head for the jellyfish part by adding some wavy lines. And in each of those wavy lines, we're going to add a little U shape. Next, we're going to add some straight lines just around the head and a little shiny spot because, of course, this is a jellyfish, even though it's going to kind of look like a cat. Next, we're going to add that cute little face. One circle on one side for one eye, another circle on the other side, and in each of those circles, you're going to draw a larger circle, and in, then you're going to add two smaller circles. Next, you're going to carefully color in the remaining space. We're going to just draw one letter U and a second letter U, and that will be the mouth. Now, because this is a fish and not a cat, we are not adding a nose, just a little mouth. Beautiful. Next, we're going to add a series of wavy organic shapes for some shorter, thicker tentacles for our cat jelly or jelly cat. It's up to you on what you want to call yours. And next we're going to add some longer jellyfish tentacle things. It's my awesome scientific word of the day. Tentacle things. Great. So just keep going and you can overlap them and that will help create the illusion that something is behind another, another thing, which will add some depth and space, which is an element of art in your little drawing here. And of course that adds some visual interest when something is overlapping another thing. Great. And once you're satisfied, you are ready to color your jellyfish. I'm going to be using some oil pastel to add some colors to my jellyfish today. Primarily, I'm going to use pink and I'm going to use blue and some gray. But you can use whatever colors and mediums that you want to use. So let's get started. First, I'm going to shade around the edges of the face with my pink. And because this is a pastel, I'm just being kind of loose as I'm going to blend it with my finger in just a moment. Okay, so once you got a little bit of shading there, you can take your finger and blend. And that just really smooths it out. So all those squitch scratchy lines are suddenly gone. And it looks very painterly. 
that's one of the lovely things about oil pastels. Some areas you might want to color solid, such as the thicker tentacles. And then I'm gonna grab my blue. I'm gonna color the inside of those ears with the blue. And I'm going to overlap some color around my jellyfish with the blue as well. So just adding some blue highlights and then I'll use my finger to blend it in. How cute is that already? And I'm gonna add just some blue down these tentacles here just one line and then I'll blend the same way that I did the face or smooth. Once you've done that, you can grab a neutral. I'm going to use gray and that's going to add my final shading around my little jellyfish. And if you want to stand out just a little teeny tiny bit more, you can just take a black and you're just gonna add only a little bit of black pastel underneath that initial frill. A little bit under the mouth. And just a teeny bit around the eyes. And then, to finish that off, we'll take a finger and make some magic happen. How gorgeous is that? Because we already have pastel on there, that little bit of black is just blending so easily. Beautiful. Your jellyfish or jelly cat is now done. Hey there, I'm Kathleen McGivern, and I'm a professional artist, teacher, and the creator of Ms. Artastic. As an artist, I create lowbrow artworks and have shown my work in both commercial and public galleries. I'm also Ms. Artastic, and I create art teaching resources and art lessons for Artastic Nation. If you're an art teacher, educator, or art studio instructor, then this is for you. The Artastic Collective is a community where you can access a library of art resources and lessons created by me, Kathleen McGivern, or by the name you most likely know me as, Ms. Artastic. 
With your membership, you can access an art resource library with new resources being added to the community both weekly and monthly. This art resource library is made up of resources from my TPT store and resources that I create exclusively for the Artastic Collective. This will take care of your lesson planning, allowing you to have clarity for what to teach, the convenience of clicking, printing, and teaching immediately, direction for where to go with your year-long plan, and speedy lesson planning, which will allow you to have your freedom back. As well, you will get to engage with a community of other art teachers and instructors in the Members Only Forum. In addition to this, you can get help from me and the other art teachers in the forum at any time or bounce ideas around and collaborate with other members. As well, you can join me for monthly question and answer live video conferences. I'll also host virtual meetups and provide you with monthly challenges to help you on your journey of success. Can't wait to see you there.